Well, here we got something a bit interesting, which you don't see every day. This is a Fuji Rabbit Junior scooter. Now, these were Japan's first set of scooters, really, that came out in 1946, which is pretty trippy because it looks really spacey when you look at it. Now, I would have thought this, but this is a 1960s one, but apparently they look the same all the way. This is a Junior, and they were 135cc. Apparently, these were the first Japanese scooters to reach 60 miles an hour. And if you look at the suspension and stuff on these, I'm not pretty sure that I really want to do it. <laughs> this old girl's a barn find. It really is. It's been tucked away since 1981. And it's a really cool looking thing. It's like everything's original, even the little mud flaps. And this was obviously someone's pride and joy for a long time. So it was tucked away. And then I guess it had engine failure or something because the cylinder head is missing from it. But it's remarkably good. I mean, it's pretty rust-free. It's, I would say it's at least 90% complete, probably more. But what a cool looking thing. Like, I just really love the way it looks. It looks like it almost shouldn't have wheels. It looks like one of those like 60s space scooters that could fly. <laughs> but it's just such a nice, unusual styled little thing. So cool. I really hope that somebody's gonna put this back on the road. So I'm gonna sell it right now, but even the little indicators and stuff are on there. You can see the fade where sunlight got to it over the years. It's got a whole 12,000 kilometers on it. Wow, the speeder goes all the way to what was meant to be the top speed, 60. It's a two-seater. I'll show you just how they lift the engine cover, just because it's really cool. So you just lift the engine cover here. And up it comes. See, it's even got everything. Apart from the piston and cylinder head, there's a mixed tank in the back. So cool. Such a weird little thing. So that's what the engine model is there. I don't know if that means anything to anyone else. But it comes with some spares as well. I just really like it. Just really love seeing this really weird little random things. And uh, hopefully they go to the new owners, get loved and restored. But I would just display this just as is. If I had some more room and some time, I'd just keep this thing. Just because I like it. It's like George Jetson's kind of like mode of transport. But anyway, just thought you'd like to see it. It's like a quick, simple little video. And uh, it's just going up for sale now. There's actually another one here as well, but that's in way worse condition. That's just a frame and bits. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that actually. Uh, we might give it to the people who have the, this other rabbit, or I might just try and put it onto a more modern scooter because we've got just enough bodywork to make it work, I think. But man, so cool. If anybody's got a rabbit, I'd like to hear your stories about them because I just think they're really, really cool little things and so unusual. So let's hope that uh, somebody's going to have a nice little resto project with this. If any of you guys, I've got another scooter as well. I've always had a bit of fascination with scooters. When I was a kid, the first scooter I ever had was actually, it's here. One of these. <laughs> this was the first thing I, I got to run around on when I was a kid. It's like a really cool old little Suzuki uh, FS50. And I really chased one down for years and years and years. And I bought this poor old thing, which is a little bit rough, but it's really kind of cool as well. I had a basket on the front of it, just the same as mine. Like... <laughs> It wasn't a lot of bike, but it was the first thing I had to get myself around, and I loved it. This one needs a bit of TLC, to say the least, but this is the reason I'm getting rid of the Fuji and some other ones. My Mr. Scooter on the side. This is just some little Chinese thing I threw together, which I ride quite frequently. We've got a posty bike back there, too. So um, I'll show you around the workshop at get some point in time when I'm show you some decent footage of the old Transit and the other bits and pieces I'm working on, the motorbikes. But uh, this one today is just one I thought I'd show you because I'm, I'm bound to sell it. So, okay. Thanks so much, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And hopefully, I'll show you some more interesting stuff as it comes in.